What's going on guys? My name is Johnny, welcome to my shop. Today we're gonna to build this super simple crosscut sled. Let's get started. These are what I'm gonna use for the runners. Um, they're just plastic uh, PVC molding from a big box store. They're a little bit thinner than my miter slots are deep. Um, and they're also a little bit wider than my miter slots, but that's not a problem. I'm just gonna take a couple passes with the hand plane. I plan on gluing these runners to the base of my sled, which is this three-quarter piece of MDF. They're a little narrower than my miter slots are deep, but that's not a problem. I just have to shim them up a little bit. And to do that, I'm just adding a few pins. And I'm using super glue um, just because it dries quickly, and I'm going to add screws later on. Now, I'm offsetting the base for a couple of reasons. The main one being that I plan on adding a ruler and a stop block in the future, and that'll just help make repeatable, accurate, and consistent crosscuts. Super glue dries pretty quickly, but I'm gonna let that sit for a while. And in the meantime, I'm gonna work on the fence. So here I'm jointing one face and one edge of a two by three. And then I'm gonna bring it over to the planer to square up the other two sides. Now I can add a bevel to the bottom edge of the fence, and I'm just using a hand plane for that. And the purpose of this is so that sawdust doesn't get trapped in there and affect the quality and accuracy of my cut. Before I attach the fence, I'm going to cut the initial curve into this piece. I plan on using the five cut method to perfectly square up the fence, but having the kerf in there kind of gets me where I need to be. There's a link in the description to a video that goes into the five cut method in great detail. Be sure to check that out if you're interested. Now I can clamp the fence to the base and I'm using a framing square to square it. This method would work just fine and you don't have to go through the process of the five cut method as long as your square is accurate. Now I can flip over the entire sled and just drive some screws from the other side. I'm only adding two screws because I know I'm going to have to readjust this fence. I'll add the remaining screws later on. I also added this back fence so that these two pieces aren't flopping around when I'm not using it and I have to throw it away. Off camera, I ran a whole bunch of tests for the 5 cut method and my results were that I was 4 thousandths of an inch off over a 40 inch distance, which is pretty good. Now I can just add a couple more screws and the fence is basically done. One more thing that I want to add is some paste wax on the bottom. And this is just going to help it slide easier on my table saw. And I'm applying it on the base as well as the runners. The paste wax really adds quite a bit of a difference. Here's a test cut that I did. That outside edge is perfectly square to the edge that's referencing up against the fence. And you can see the blade is tracking perfectly parallel to it. I also got a really nice clean cut. And that's because I just cleaned my table saw blade. There's a link to that video in the description and up here in the cards. The final thing I did is modify the back fence a little bit. This is now what it looks like. This was a very simple build, to be honest. Um, really didn't take too long. Just three pieces of wood and a couple screws. Super simple. Uh, but I'm so glad I have this now. It'll make building things in the future so much more efficient, so much easier. Yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty happy. So. Don't forget to check that link in the description and that will that will teach you how to do the five cut method 
Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.